truck drivers, what is the craziest thing you have seen looking down into passenger vehicles? <laughs> Saw a guy jerking off while driving on the highway. I'm giving you an upvote, but, it's hard. We would like that jerk off the road. Hopefully he had a firm grip. On the wheel. <laughs> while driving an old pickup truck past me, the guy was getting a blowjob, a few miles down the road at the next exit. They both were out of the pickup and the lady was throwing up. Did you honk as you went by? So many people hitting a bowl and even rolling joints while driving. Women doing their makeup at 80 miles per hour. 60 plus year old man reading the newspaper on the steering wheel. Guy in a beat to shit minivan with a massive pig in the rear. Like at least 300 pounds. Man on motorcycle with dog in backpack. Young boy in the back seat with a tablet on Pornhub. Not a truck driver, but once saw a dude playing the trumpet while driving. Not a euphemism. Actually playing an instrument. This is the best one. Saw a guy dressed as Santa Claus doing this in LA middle of the summer. Driving a wagon, on a Sunday afternoon, on a motorway. Looked down to see a nice long pair of legs, clad in stockings, which led to a black miniskirt, legs akimbo, purple panties on display. Took all my willpower to keep an eye on the road ahead. Looked down twice more, getting a bit of a lazy lob on. Took a look up then decided for one last look down. To see a hand slip down the skirt and gently grip one edge of the panties, pull slightly to one side. And the biggest cock I've ever seen in real life flopped out. Gave you the ol' razzle dazzle. Toby determined, the razz dazzler. I drove a bigger truck, box in Jacksonville, Florida, for a couple years. Almost all the craziest shit I've seen is in cop cars. By the cop. Two times saw a cop with a bag of weed, obviously not evidence. One was kinda rummaging into it, as I would, were I about to stuff some of it into something to smoke. I suppose it could beneficial. The other one was just kinda smelling it and looking at it at the red light. Again, not saying they lit up, it was just a really weird scene. To be fair I'm not 100% sure how cops handle evidence weed. Maybe they are supposed to work with it while driving with the other hand. I have seen masturbation, by both sexes, the first time I commented on it my passenger, older real truck driver, told me he probably saw that more than anything else in his however many years of driving. People really think their vehicles are more private than they are, huh? Getting caught is half the fun for them. I've seen people practically elbow deep in their noses while driving. It's like they think they're invisible. Just a snack for the road. Been flashed by college girls in a jeep, watched a guy get blown in his new car for 30 miles, watched a young woman in traffic with one foot on the dash, her skirt around her chest and trying to rub the hair off it in the fast lane. Yeah, people do shit in cars all the time. 30 miles? Two-lane country blacktop in western Kansas, dude was swerving lane to lane and his girl would pop her head up and look back with a grin. Driving a box truck, looked over at a red light and saw a chick vigorously masturbating with what was at that time the biggest dildo I'd ever seen. She noticed me noticing and winked at me before driving off when the light went green. At that time. I'm glad you've since gotten to see some even bigger ones. The internet ruined me, what can I say? It has ruined us all my friend, nothing surprises me anymore. Honestly if you've been on the internet for long and haven't seen a dildo at least the size of a human forearm you haven't gone 3 or 4 pages beyond Google. Been driving truck for 10 years, when I got my license I'd hear guys tell all the stories of how many women have flashed them, let me tell you in the last 10 years I've seen exactly zero titties while driving. So I've decided that either other truck drivers are full of shit, women aren't as wild as they used to be, or I don't pay enough attention. 
I asked a guy once about this and he told me it happens more on the west coast. If that's true then it makes me wonder why west coast women are wilder than east coast women. This needs to be a published challenge, for science or research or something. Lower standards. I saw a woman in a convertible scratching like she had an ant nest in her knickers. We were stopped at lights. She stopped and really slowly looked up at me. I just smiled at her. I'm sure that was the longest wait at a red light in the history of traffic lights. The old ants nest in the knickers. I would have noped out if she smiled back and gave her hand a whiff. <laughs> Saw this one lady reach into her crotch, rummage around in there, then pulled her hand out and smelled it. Judging by her reaction, it probably stunk, but it seemed like she was into it. I was just like, <laughs> nothing too crazy but, I've seen a woman straight up bury her hands in her crotch then smelled it right after. I mean, at least she checked. Maybe she had a meet appointment and wanted to make sure she was fresh. <laughs> Saw a guy trying to kill himself once. He had tied an extension cord around a tree at one end and around his neck at the other. Was sitting in the driver's seat trying to work up the nerve to hit the gas. Did he do it? Did you stop him? I was driving past. Honestly I got a few blocks away before what I had seen clicked and slash processed. I called 911 and reported it. Didn't go back as I was worried about getting run over by a mentally unstable person if I did. Never forget, cars are weapons in the wrong hands. <laughs> Nat but from a National Express bus, think Greyhound, I once saw a driver doing a word search puzzle. <laughs> Tour bus driver, saw a dude in a full gimp suit tied to the passenger seat in a passing car once. Also. I'd get cars falling in beside me to catch a few minutes of the onboard movie, you could see them staring up into the bus windows. Or maybe they were trying to snag some free Wi-Fi off the bus. <laughs> Former bus driver, lots of road head, a woman giving birth at a stoplight, people doing cocaine, and the most shocking thing of all, someone rocking out to Nickelback. I remember a similar question was posted before and the truck driver mentioned seeing somebody hit like a 4 foot long bong from the driver's seat. The best part is that the guy who was smoking out of it responded to the truck driver on reddit and provided some kind of proof to show it was him, can't remember what, but I'm assuming it was a pick of the bong. I'm not a trucker, but I know one saw my now wife giving me road head going down I-75 one evening in 1994. I would have married her too. I got busted the same way on the I-15 outside Barstow. Honestly, that's how I knew my GF, now wife, was the one, 10 years married next week, still get road head. Not a driver anymore but I've put down a few miles. The only things really come to mind was some people bumping uglies, couple people playing with themselves solo, unmarked armored convoy, people doing drugs. Probably others, but I've got a shit memory and didn't pay that much attention to internal goings-on of most four-wheelers. According to my husband, lot of naked women, dudes jerking off, and road head. The best is parents teaching their little kids the arm pump to get trucks to honk. A girl fucking herself in the pussy and ass with two big cucumbers, while blowing her boyfriend who was driving. That's. That's a lot of multitasking. Legit, I don't think I have the coordination. The answers on this is exactly why I watch my hands when parked next to a semi. I saw someone writing a manual letter while eating a sandwich. Drove with his knee. Don't know how the hell he stayed in the lane. Writing a letter, this is perhaps the craziest of them all. Nothing interesting. Not a truck driver but once as a passenger on a road trip I saw a woman eating a salad while driving. You kids and your slang. Riding shotgun helping buddy relocate in a big rental truck. It's dark. We're talking about the nuts and bolts of obscure welfare programs, his job. We somehow catch up with a small beater car and he starts to pass it. 
I look down to see who's driving slower than a rental truck on an interstate. Dome light come on and two hotties are shaking their, ample, bosoms at me in doing. Other things. I say, Ed, there are two naked women in the car we're passing, which he took to mean I was bored with government entitlements and said, whatever. Well I went back to watching them and another minute went by until car went suddenly dark and they sped away. It was ages later that someone told me they soliciting, or luring us away so they could rob us. A fucking ape riding on the back of a motorcycle with a cigarette lit in its mouth. Not joking. I usually never look at drivers passing by. Most of the time you only get a split second and you can hardly see anything anyways. Plus it's annoying when someone looks at me while they drive by. It's like, the fuck you staring at bro. LOL. So I don't do it to others. Plus it's awkward when you make eye contact. Truck drivers can see what I'm doing in my car. Shit. I'm sorry. Did you enjoy the video? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to share your favorite moments from this video. With that being said, have a good day.